It's hard to believe that the High Republic has only been in our lives for a single year. After all, through the sheer volume and quality of stories we received over the past year, characters like Avar, Stellan, and Keeve feel like longtime friends. From the undying hope of Light of the Jedi to the somber losses of the Rising Storm, the High Republic put us on an emotional journey throughout 2021. Now, in the first days of 2022, Claudia Gray arrives to deliver the final blow. And of course, leading up to this book's release, there was a ton of speculation about exactly what was going to occur, if there would be any losses of the Jedi we've come to love, and even the official marketing material teased a lot of destruction, but even those materials didn't go far enough. The Fallen Star ends the first phase of the High Republic with one of the most visceral and heartbreaking stories we've seen thus far, and might well be one of the crowning achievements of Claudia Gray's storied career. Hi everyone, I'm Nathan Emery, content creator here at Utini, and I'm here to deliver our review of The Fallen Star to you. As with all of our reviews, this review is a collaborative effort from our entire re review team, and the scores reflect the fair scores that we all contributed to. And of course, this review will be primarily spoiler free, so unless you're looking to avoid anything about the story so far, we're not going to reveal any new details or plot points. With that said, let's jump into the plot of The Fallen Star. Maybe the greatest achievement of the High Republic so far has been the introduction of such a high number of characters, and really amazing characters too. You know, every book is focused on different Jedi, Nile, politicians, pilots, and so many characters in between. And so Claudia Gray was tasked with the huge ask of bringing all of these storylines together, of tying up all of these individual storylines into a neat bow. And she accomplishes this by centering all these characters' story arcs around one singular event, the fall of Starlight Beacon. Now, I promise no spoilers, and normally in a review, we would be remiss to mention a spoiler like that, but it's not really a spoiler. It's in the title, it's in all of the promotional materials, and it's on the cover of the book. We know this is going to happen, but what we don't know is how. And as we get to see how through the viewpoints of so many different characters, we truly see some of the most visceral, aerobic moments in Star Wars. We get to see the perspectives of so many different characters experiencing this one event. And so the first half of the book may start off a little slower than we're used to from the higher public, but that's easily made up for in terms of action and intensity in the latter half of the book. This incredible culmination to this phase of the higher public is why we give the plot of this book a 9.7 out of 10. Now let's jump into the characters. So from the incredible Lost Stars to Bloodlines to so many other books, Claudia Gray has always been a master of characters, and perhaps that's why she was chosen to wrap up the stories of all of these amazing High Republic characters in this phase. But The Fallen Star really goes above and beyond in highlighting Gray's abilities through her description of different partnerships. Not only does she highlight each individual character, but she shows partnerships between lifelong friends Elzar Man and Stellan Geos, or the burgeoning friendship between Belzedifar and Beryaga Agaburi. Despite all of the events unfolding around them, the characters in both of these partnerships get time to reflect on the traumas around them, the past that has led them to this moment, and build their connections. Elzar and Stellan's friendship, which is described in the prior books of the High Republic, takes a new turn in this one as the two move away from the past to the present, as they forge a new bond in the Force, as they have conversations about vulnerability, fear, darkness, and so much more that we don't usually see from Jedi that strengthens the bond between these two characters. On the other hand, we see Bell and Buryaga's friendship burgeoning with the joy of two new friends. These are two completely different connections that are written beautifully by Grey and serve as kind of the foundation of all of the chaos that occurs in this book. And of course, Claudia Gray's talent for describing minor characters and bringing them into the spotlight is present in The Fallen Star as well. We see so many of our favorite characters who have appeared in prior releases show up again, show out for the finale of phase one of The High Republic. We've got to hand it to the master. This is some of the strongest character writing we've seen in Star Wars, which is why we give the characters in this book a 10 out of 10. Now let's jump into the originality of this book. And there's something to be said for showing your hand at the start of the game. It's a unique play, right? To show that this major plot point is going to happen and that there's nothing you can do to stop it. To know that Starlight Beacon is going to fall and there's nothing you can do about it. 
but also to spoil that means that you know there's going to be so much beyond that, so much to explore around that event. And so the tension that arises in this book is not about whether Starlight Beacon is going to survive, but it's about the journey to get there, all of the tensions along the way. As our friend Laura from The Forced Toast, A Star is Happy Hour put it, it's like the film Titanic. You know at the end the ship is going down, but the tension is in the journey to get there. And simultaneously, the fall of Starlight Beacon is a catalyst for some of the most intense emotional beats we experience, as we think we already kind of know what's going to happen. We don't need to list the originality of the Star Wars High Republic so far, but it takes a different kind of originality to give us the end point and still keep us in tension to figure out how we're going to get there. So our score for the originality of this book is a 9.7 out of 10. Now let's move on to the writing. At this point, with the incredible body of work that Claudia Gray has produced, especially within the Star Wars universe, we're kind of running out of praises to give her writing. But there is something new we can give with The Fallen Star, and that's an emotional intensity we haven't seen in much of Star Wars so far. Now, one of the most rewarding parts of The High Republic so far has been to see a different level of vulnerability that we're not used to seeing in Star Wars, particularly among the Jedi. And Claudia Gray takes this emotional vulnerability to a new level and presents some of the most vivid emotional writing we've seen. Her mastery of this emotional writing takes these characters from something that could easily be two-dimensional and turns them into complex, relatable characters. You know, Marky and Roe could easily be just a villain, but instead Claudia Gray turns him into something that yearns for more than just power and destruction. Stellan Geos is the poster boy of the Order, and it could have been left there, but instead we deal with his crippling doubts at every turn. You may have already fallen in love with the characters of the High Republic, but Claudia Gray's intimate writing, the intimate moments shared with each of these characters, really cement them as friends. You know, by the end of this book, if you didn't already, you'll come to love these characters, to cherish them, to feel with them. And that amazing achievement is why we give the writing of this book a 10 out of 10. Now let's move on to the entertainment. Reading The Fallen Star is an assaulting experience. There's no other way to put it. If you've never understood how pe readers can get so invested in a book that they cry with emotion, this book might provide that level of understanding for you. There are few comparable feelings than the adrenaline rush of a midnight premiere of a movie you've been waiting for. And as we mentioned before, the pacing of this book intentionally starts slow, but once the destruction begins, there's no stopping. And of course, Gray's writing and the incredible entertainment value it provides is heightened even more by the incredible audiobook reading by Mark Thompson. Mark Thompson in injects an additional level of vigorousness, of vitality to these characters and these scenes. So if you've never read a book simultaneously while listening to the audiobook, this might be a great time to start. Sometimes we conflate entertainment with fun. And while the latter term isn't really a great descriptor for this book, the entertainment value of having your soul ripped from your body cannot be understated. That's why we give the entertainment of this book a 9.8 out of 10. The Fallen Star is full of everything Star Wars. Joy, loss, grief, fear, darkness, light, the force, and so much more. It's an incredible book that catapults phase one of the High Republic, the trilogy of adult novels that make up this phase, to the level of masterpiece. Our overall score for The Fallen Star is a 9.8 out of 10. It's really difficult to understate the impact that this initiative has had on the Star Wars community at large. I mean, characters that were introduced just one year ago have already won their way into the hearts and minds of Star Wars fans worldwide. The Fallen Star honors that legacy, the legacy that was started by Light of the Jedi a year ago. And of course, it's too early to tell if The Fallen Star is going to take the cake for Star Wars books in 2022, but it very well will be a contender. If you haven't pre-ordered your copy of The Fallen Star and you want to pick it up or any other Star Wars book, stick around for this. Utini has partnered with Audible to deliver your first Star Wars audiobook completely free. All you have to do is head on over to utini.com slash audible, sign up for a free trial, and you'll get your first Star Wars audiobook completely free, no strings attached. Again, that's utini.com slash audible. Thanks for watching, and as always, we are all the Republic.